What's going on everybody, Josh Polkak here, and Google is coming back in the LLM race. They're coming out with some really cool things, some really cool features. We're gonna dive in to some of the new things that they actually added to Notebook LM. And if you're not familiar with Notebook LM, we're gonna show you why it is one of the best tools you can use to learn new things, leverage knowledge, leverage knowledge to create content, and use Google's new rag system to create podcast-like content from AI. That's right. I know OpenAI just dropped their advanced voice feature. Well, this is kind of similar and even has a unique twist on it to make AI style podcast content from your notes. Let's dive right into it. All the hype. Cursor? Have you heard of it? I have. The updates have been insane. Absolutely insane. Well, and it's fascinating because it's not just someone trying to like kind of slap AI onto a typical code editor. All right, guys, so Notebook LM has been pretty much experimental for, I don't know, maybe the last like five, six, seven, eight months, maybe a year or so. Um, and it's always quite frankly been pretty cool. I haven't done a video talking about this on this channel, but uh, so yeah, I'll quickly go over it for those who aren't familiar with it, but I maybe checked it out four months ago, six months ago, you know, been haven't really used it too, too much to be honest but they have been getting some really cool new features and um yeah honestly some stuff that pretty much just i haven't seen anyone else uh doing right so you know obviously from the start google's kind of had the advantage when it comes to ai and then open ai kind of came because google was slacking and then you know they got ahead and then there's claude anthropic but google does have a really strong base regardless to maybe get ahead and have a competitive advantage still because of the infrastructure and the data that they that they own right you know everyone has a gmail account everyone has a google drive account and they can leverage that to their advantage kind of like how with meta everyone has an instagram account everyone has a facebook account so um you know those google has that uh, as a competitive advantage meta has that as a competitive advantage of above open ai where they're just you know frankly like a startup right with that being said um yeah we're gonna dive into Notebook LM. If you're not familiar with Tiago Forte, author of the best-selling or of uh, building a second brain, um, if the concept of a second brain. If you're not familiar with that, I would recommend looking more into that. But this Notebook LM is a really, really powerful tool if you're familiar with that concept and you can really leverage it to your advantage. So he goes ahead and says the best software ever created for leveraging AI in your creative work. All right, so. For those of you like myself, uh, you probably have all your documents for your business, for your content creation, for whatever the case may be, scripts, if you're, you have a podcast or you maybe you do SEO, you have blogs that you write, whatever the case may be, a lot of that or maybe all of it is hosted in your Google Drive, right? So Notebook LM is essentially, it leverages, it's built on the back of Google's Gemini models and uh, I'm not going to dive into, I'll leave links to the models if you want to check them out. Um, they did just come out with some new upgraded models and you know maybe i'll do an individual video talking about some of that but they're the specs are definitely a little bit more impressive as in terms of like one the context window and um and even uh the price is pretty good now notebook lm is free so you just need a google account and there's some template example notebooks here we'll look at them real quick and then i'll show you creating a, a, a uh a, a specific notebook and you can create custom notebooks as many notebooks as you want on different topics so whether you're a business owner whether you're a creative you make youtube content you make blog content seo you're an entrepreneur and anything or you're trying to learn something whether you're just studying trying to learn maybe learn a new language or trying to learn a new topic trying to learn how to code or maybe you're in um you know university or college this tool is very very powerful so let's take a look at this example notepad book just so you can see what the interface looks like and then i'm going to show you creating one and show you some of the cool features um so once we click on this example notebook we'll see our sources listed on the left these are just all documents from this is an example one from google and uh, these are all google docs i believe or just note content so we can see the source guide the summary key topics this is all done instantly by notebook lm you can add notes here and i'll show you that in just a second and you can basically talk to this rag model which is really cool um, and you see notebook guide and this part right here we're going to come back to that in just a second this is a newer feature that is absolutely mind-boggling and i personally was shocked <laughs> when i saw this feature and I, th I, I think it's the new way 
um you know ai voice is so 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 powerful and it's going to disrupt so many industries and i have some really cool stuff on the way about that if you're interested in that make sure to subscribe to stay up to date because i i've been working on some really cool things but um this right here is really really cool so if you're doing seo blog content or anything in general for content this is going to be powerful and we're going to show an example of this once we create our uh notebook okay so let's go ahead and go back here we're going to create a notebook okay so really powerful things about uh, notebook lm is the sources so notebook lm lets you um basically build a rag system so retrieval augmented generation system um and it it's responses on the information that matters most to you example marketing plans course reading research notes meeting transcripts sales documents etc so you can upload sources so you can upload pdfs dot txt markdown files audio files mp3s really almost anything um to some degree all right i don't know if you can upload videos yet but uh there is a source limit of 50 which is pretty good i don't know if there's like a context length um limit or if there's just a, a file upload limit from from what i see here it doesn't look like there's necessarily i mean there probably is some context limit of course but uh as we know the uh google gemini um context lengths are pretty damn long so there's google drive here so you can upload from your own computer right here then there's google drive which is super powerful so you can leverage all your google docs all your google slides very easily very seamlessly so i can click google docs here it's going to upload my google drive right here okay for the sake of this video i'll just use this getting started coding your project in cursor ai ide for beginners intermediate and advanced i did a video on this this is my um complete cursor beginner or actually beginner intermediate and advanced guide to get you started with cursor ai ide so if you're not familiar with cursor ai ide ai the basically the best ai coding editor right now definitely check out that video down below it's one of my best uh most valuable videos um recently i believe with in terms of when it comes to ai coding so i give you a full 16 uh, or 19 page sop document which is this right here as well as a complete prd product requirements document template that you can download 100 for free so check that out i'll leave the link to the video and the docs in the description down below um anyways so now we have this document uploaded here right so help me create and i can either i could click say hey help me create a faq a study guide a table of contents a timeline and briefing doc so let's just and and here's a summary so this is a comprehensive guide using the cursor ai ide to code projects it focuses on blah 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 blah. this guide also covers creating a prd and um yeah then there's suggested questions over here um you can start asking it questions upon uh, based on this source um but let's create like a faq real quick so this is going to create a note and this is going to create some faqs for us okay and boom we have our note, we have our FAQ. Um, what are what are the cursor AI ID keyboard shortcuts? What are the cursor rules and how can I use them? Um, how do I reference documentation in cursor? What is a PRD? Why is it important when using cursor? Uh, how can I create a markdown project structure in cursor? What are some top tips for optimizing prompts in cursor, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right? You can see all these FAQs, and this is like exactly what I cover in the doc. We did obviously a really good job we could add our own notes right here um type in our own stuff if needed um we can delete notes right um we can select all delete them all at once if needed um then of course we can add more sources so that was just a google drive obviously we could add a google slide if we wanted to um but we can also add external resources so we can add a link to a website so if i wanted to go new tab here and go to cursor.com right and maybe you know i want to go to their docs per se just go ahead and grab this actually this is migrate from vs code let's go like something that has a bit more maybe let me just grab their features page right here and then go back and then go to website and i can paste in that url so now we're inserting cursors features page right so it's going to scrape this and it's going to say the first source is a feature overview of cursor blah, blah 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 it's telling us a summary it's giving us suggested questions giving us a faq right so we got all that okay well this is for the whole notebook actually but um yeah you get the point you can click on the note right here or the uh uh reference and we can see 
a summary a ai or key topics we can see the whole entire document right here this is the first one but let's go ahead and take a look at the website so this is those scraped website um of cursors features page you can see the summary all the topics right really really powerful stuff all right so the next one is even cooler so we can actually grab a youtube video link like this copy link and let's go back to our notebook here and let me just go here add a new source and we can go to youtube paste in the link right here so notes only the text transcript will be imported at this moment only public videos are supported recently uploaded uh, upload videos may not uh, be available for import if upload fails learn more for common uh, reasons so if it does fail you could of course just go to the video and grab the transcript yourself but look at this we instantly grabbed a transcript of my youtube video here which is uh basically about the cursor new updates right so now we're getting all the recent updates because when i made my first in-depth uh cursor guide it actually didn't have some of these recent updates like now cursor has um a composer that can be pins to the ai pane and it has note uh, notepads instead of projects there's a few updates so now we're getting this updated information right all from a youtube video this is just three sources we could add up to 50 if we wanted right so now we could create another note like we could create a uh briefing doc right and this is on all of our sources within our notebook all right so here we have our new note all right basically a briefing guide going over pretty much everything that we have within our sources we can see um different sources being referenced here key takeaways and analysis all right a bunch of cool stuff here and then i'm going to chat with our uh, notebook here and i'm just going to say what's the best way to get started with cursor as a beginner and what should i know it's also prompting me for different questions um different uh, queries that you could ask this rag system but we're just going to ask it uh this question all right and look at this answer we get here so download the cursor for free we can see the sources too so we could basically see exactly where this source is coming from to see if it's actually a legitimate source from our, our uh, sources or maybe just to make sure that you know the AI isn't hallucinating for whatever reason but it's actually doing really good as we can see here it's going over a cursor chat how to instantly apply things control K terminal control K familiarize yourself with cursor best practices all right change management editing workflow you know everything you would need create a PRD this is all stuff within our sources here okay you can share this up here if you would like you could share this um and copy the link add people etc to your notebook you can rename your notebook here so cursor ai ide all right now this is where it gets really cool and this is what really impressed me so i'm going to go ahead here and click deep dive conversation two hosts english only all right and as this is generating it's probably going to take a little bit but I want you to keep keep this in mind. Imagine, let's say you were doing SEO. You wanted to leverage Notebook LLM to or Notebook LM to create a as optimized SEO blog post. Now, first of all, I wouldn't just use Notebook LM just because uh, you know it's a really cool system. But you know, other models, other LLMs still are better than uh, these Gemini models. But in terms of the system, it's really cool for researching, learning, etc. So let's say you use this and you structure out a blog post that's really cool then we use this audio feature and we embed this in the blog post as well so user can read the blog post user can listen to it and when this is done i'm going to play this for you so you can see for yourself okay guys so it is done i don't know exactly how long it took maybe about 10 minutes or so i stepped away for a bit but this is 19 minutes and 50 seconds like this is crazy i only uploaded three sources let's just hear this thing i'm not going to obviously play it all but let's take a listen and see how this sounds ai coding right it's everywhere you look these days seems like there's a new tool popping up every other minute claiming to be the next big thing and you know me i can't resist diving in and trying them all out but honestly lately i've been spending all my time on just one and it's actually living up to all the hype cursor have you heard of it? I have. The updates have been insane, absolutely insane. Well, and it's fascinating because it's not just someone trying to like kind of slap AI onto a typical code editor. It's built with AI as the core idea from the ground up. AI first, not just AI added. Exactly. 
and it changes everything about how you work. Which is exactly what we are diving into today, folks. We've got articles, official docs, even a whole training guide on this thing from executivestride.com, plus Josh Pocock on YouTube breaking down all these new features. So much to cover. Ready to extract some golden nuggets of knowledge from all this. Let's do it. Because I am pumped. Yeah, so the mission here, if we can actually do it, is not just to understand like how cursor works, but how to actually use it. Yes. And to write better code faster. That's the dream. For 100%. Okay, so Cursor, it calls itself, quote, the AI code editor that will make you extraordinarily productive. Okay, so you get the point. There's 19 minutes of this. Like, can I fast forward to the end here? What are some advanced techniques they can start experimenting with? Okay, so for those who are ready to dive a little deeper, I highly recommend exploring the composer. This is where Cursor's multi-file editing capabilities Like This is pretty crazy. This is actually just game changing. This is with three sources, a YouTube video, a guide, and Cursor's website. You can add 50 sources. And this took about maybe 10, 15 minutes to generate. And this is pretty damn good. It's pretty realistic. And they're having like a conversation. They're bantering back and forth, talking exactly like a podcast. They're creating long form podcast style content from really just nothing with AI. And it sounds pretty good. It's something that you could actually listen to. So let me know what your thoughts are on this, guys. I, th I personally think this is game changing. I think this, this is just on the track to changing just the way we create content, we think about creating content, and we um, learn things and so much more. I think this is a huge stepping stone. I think Google, you can say what you want about obviously them you know, maybe not liking Google opposed to some other companies, you know, there's a lot of maybe controversy around there for certain people in terms of, you know, some, you know, stuff we've seen with them. Um, but I mean, they're pretty much like we've seen that with a lot of these closed source companies like OpenAI right now and whatnot, but yeah, you got to give it to them. Um, this is really, really cool. And I'm, uh, I did think this is going to I think this was on the exact track, the right track, the next stepping stone that, you know, other other companies and just everything's going to be built off of like more, more and more companies are going to start doing things like this. More and more content is going to be coming out. That's AI generated long form content. All these going to be increasing AI voice. Everything is really going to be disrupted in the next year, two years, three years, everything we know it. And so many different industries is going to change from low level you know, positions and jobs and whatnot and industries to higher level, medium level, et cetera, et cetera. So that's my, that's my view. That's my, how I'm looking at this, but let me know what your thoughts are down below guys. Let me know if you've tried out notebook LLM LM before. Um, and let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you did some really cool stuff with it, or maybe you don't like certain things with it. Other than that, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you got some value here. If you new to this channel, we upload videos every single day on AI automation, business growth, really anything, uh, AI news, anything that I'm learning that I feel like could be value to you guys, AI coding, cursor, etc. cetera. Um, that's what we do. So if you want to stay up to date with the daily uploads, make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Other than that, guys, check out some of the videos down below. Like I mentioned that cursor guide you should check out and I'll leave some other links to videos as well. So you can check those out. But other than that, I will see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Keep hustling, keep grinding. And of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.